<laughs> this nigga is bro. He ain't got no filter. Tired of waiting to see the next episode reaction? Why not join the Patreon? You can gain access to reactions that have been uploaded weeks in advance before they land on YouTube. Most of all, you can watch the full-length versions without the annoying copyright filter and subpar audio for just $5 a month. If you want to take your loyalty even further, you can watch our non-animated related reactions as well as submit requests for just $10 a month. So stay ahead of the curve and help us sustain the brand. Thank, Thank you. you. Yo, what's going on, you guys? It's your boy RBG, aka the Random Black Gamer, here with my lovely fiance Johnny Lee on the ones and twos, and this is We Ain't Seen the Reactions, the place where we react to everything we ain't never seen. And today we're kicking things off with another episode reaction to Mushaku Tensei, Jobless Reincarnation. Last time things got a little bit hairy with our little hairy companions that we had over there up in the little cat kingdom, whatever you want to call it. The cat kingdom. The Dodia tribe. You know what I'm saying? We got a chance to uncover some connective tissue there. You know what I'm saying? Like, even though it was like a foreign land that my girl Eris visited for the first time, you know, and of course Rudis, but this right here felt more like an Eris based episode because we got a chance to see her growth, man. We got a chance to see her actually lend some of her combat skills to some of the youth characters up in this show. You and know. some of her like big sister skills and she right. was teaching them a new language and she was helping them out they she like uh, they end up liking her so much they end up beating her up when she tried to leave exactly yeah you know it, it's almost like she was looking at a reflection of herself with that little cat girl being so entitled to her staying and stuff like that because that seems so heiress like so except heiress. in the last season you know or the past few episodes i'm still confused on if i should call this a new season or not because we're labeling episode what 16 but yeah we got a chance to see her kind of hold back on that little cat girl and stuff because she <laughs> knew that she could probably put hands on if she really wanted to so that was cool and i don't know i forgot the names i think the, the cat girl's name was taurus or tora or something like that but i forgot her Hold dad's up. name tona tona yeah tona yeah tona and her dad i forgot her name but What's we her? know they were Ghislaine's uh, family. Right, Ghislaine, yeah. So they got a chance to know that Ghislaine, she's been doing it big out there, you know, in the wilderness or whatever kind of kingdom she's been holding it down in ever since their little magical outbreak happened. So, yeah, you know, a lot of character progression going on with this show, and we are just enjoying the ride. So we're not going to waste any more of y'all's time. We're going to go ahead and jump into episode, what is this, 16? And here we go. I love this just simplistic vibe right now. Mm -mm. Okay. <clears throat> I she is so inquisitive. She wants to learn everything. <laughs> trying to cook for you, man. For us to go attend somebody's wedding. Like they came well. Yeah. Don't do that. This nigga being naive again, bro. <laughs> 
量産したいのとついでに手紙を書きたいと思いまして手紙はい僕たちの無事を知らせる手紙ですパウロに手紙を書くなんて初めてだなんて書こうかスペルト族と仲間になったとか魔界大帝にマガンをもらったとか書いたところで信じてくれるかなどけどけどけいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいい <laughs> Hit time in, let's go. <laughs> Got the fresh, fresh ingredients on his face. Get the window, huh? He ain't got no filter. Sheesh. He probably enjoying the view too. <laughs> Who is with the water bowl? <laughs> oh, you ain't shit, Rudis. Is that Paul? Yeah, who is this? Who is this mystery Chad? Gotta be his dad. It gotta be. If he recognizes the sword's moves. It's his dad. With that ponytail. Yeah. Mm hmm. Oh, he's saying fight like he does. Uh oh! Ooh. Nigga, if you turn the lights on, you'll see who it is. No, you can't because you got the mask on. I'm sure. Faja. Faja. Oh my god, his face looks so sucked in. He ain't been eating. Zenith ain't been feeding you, nigga. He looks so skinny now. He look a mess. Boy, they know me? Look at them at that other table.
Yeah, what are you talking about? He think he lying. Really? Really? Yeah. I mean, he's a kid. Right. No, I was right. Where's the boobs keep on changing in size? Why are you being such a creep? Bro, that is not even what the hell is going on. Let me guess, you hit me. Of course he's hitting it. He gotta be hitting it. <laughs> Man, don't say that mom might be dead. Do not. Don't go there, bro. Well, he's gonna get tired of hitting my man. He can't deserve that. <laughs> oh, damn! Wow, fuck in that nigga. He hit the top of the ceiling. <laughs> he his ass. I don't know. His ass. <laughs> Is that his sister? She doesn't even know him. Look just like him too. Right. <laughs> Crazy how much time passed. Boy, he was bullying me. Right. He's got them hands put on him, man. They looking at him crazy. <laughs> like, did y'all not see him punch him? Yeah, I leave Paul. What is this sound? Nigga, he wasn't taking it. He didn't even know what he was into. That is crazy, though. It never slipped his mind. Right. That's why I need to be drinking so much. Exactly, yeah, that makes sense. All you had to do was not be a purge for about five seconds. No, for real? And he wouldn't know. They wouldn't kidnap him. 
So that was saving that kid. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's none of my business. Right, like. <laughs> But he's still only a kid. I don't see how that's a kid's job. Right. Magic or not. Yeah, he putting too much pressure on him, man. Yeah. So nobody knows about what happened to the Boris dude. That's not the same Paul. Mm. This Paul is wrecked right now. He is going through it. Yeah, that was there for. Shit, he probably is all kind of stressed out and emotional. No, don't tell him because it's going to go down. <laughs> That's right. Well, shit, she is kind of family, though. But at this point, right? Well, she is his family. Yeah. Me when I be trying to cheer you up. Right. Why well, she got so tall now? Mm-hmm. What it? <laughs> I was like, you better make those faces and stuff. For real. Man, that was a roller coaster ride for you. That was episode 16, guys. This shit is just getting crazier and crazier because it seems like, you know, Rudis, they aren't the only ones that got pulled into this crazy ass Wizard of Oz tornado shit. Like a lot of people are going through it. And, well, shit, we ain't got that much time. Hold on. But yeah, a lot of people are going through it, guys. I'm sorry, I had to cut the camera before. We were running out of time on the camera. But yeah, a lot of people are going through it and they're just ending up into this world that they're not familiar familiar with. And, you know, it's a lot of shit that happened to them. Mm -hmm. They're getting kidnapped, put in slavery and stuff like that because they don't understand shit. Most of them probably don't even know how to speak the language like that. I'm pretty sure Paul don't know how to speak that language. You know, he seems like he's more hands-on than like in text, like intelligent or intellectual mm -hmm. so uh yeah that's crazy but i'm kind of eager to see what happened to Zena because from what i read about her in the comment section like she was one of those high-ranking mages who was about that life too you know what i'm saying like she put in work so i'm wondering if she's still surviving and what became of uh lilith and the other you know the other mm -hmm. sibling I'm wondering about them. Some tell me that they're going to be a lot more different uh, aesthetically because they probably been through the ringer. You know, like Xena, she probably look more, you know, badass and shit as opposed to just being motherly and stuff like that. So it's going to be cool seeing them later on down the line if they are still alive. I'm hoping they're alive. What do you think about it? I thought it was a really good episode. At first, I was like, is that him? Is that him? Is that him? Yeah. It's him. He looked like he done been through it, but I can definitely understand if your whole family just, you don't know if they alive, dead or not. All you got is one of your kids with you. Right. And, you know, I kind of don't like the way he was attacking Rudy, but. It's an alcohol talking, man. <laughs> I think it's his own self, like, wishing he could do more talking. Yeah. I feel like with Rudy, he's like, you had the opportunity to be out here searching for people and helping, and instead you were 
what sounds like gallivanting around doing whatever you want to do. Even yeah. though he wasn't, we know he wasn't. He was having a horrible time in many cases. Exactly. He's been playing Paul Robin doesn't Hood. know that. Right. Like, every, Paul's been saving people. Rudis has kind of been doing the whole guilt thing. He's been saving people also. I mean, yeah. Shit. But he's been doing it for paper. You know what I'm saying? Just to make some money. Yeah, kind of. And to get where he wants to go. Kind of for favors, you know. But that was definitely a good episode. I give that one an A+. Plus. I'm glad to have seen. I'm glad to see Paul, you know. It's Paul. Yeah. My boy Polly, yeah, I'll give it an A plus as well. Really enjoyed this reunion, even though it was a a bit of a darker kind of reunion that I was ex- uh, expecting. Uh, I was thinking that Paul was gonna be happy to see how much Rudis has grown, but uh, apparently, you know, he was like, "Nigga, you should have been checking your voicemail because we've been trying to call your ass." But um, nonetheless, guys, we're going to jump into episode seventeen. So let's go ahead and jump into it right now. He probably has no idea. No. Or they're at home, but everything is blown to smithereens. Ain't no telling, man. This look, he got on this Attack on Titan suit and everything. He must have been on a voyage or something. <laughs> Nigga, y'all ain't going home. Doctor Strange? Mm-hmm. In the Isle of Agamotto? He had to build this shit from the ground up. And all those people are probably just like him. And he's just trying to keep it together for her. He is. See, how can you be mad at my boy? No, he trying to do his best. People change. People try. Yeah. My man is on a mission. I'm talking about why everybody else got on cloak and pants and everything. And this girl say, uh, forget all that. Right. This nigga ought to not have no kidneys and no liver. Seriously. Yeah, you go ahead and tell him, Geese. Let him know what you've been up to. Let him know how your, his son saved you. Man is on to some shit, man. He kind of trying to convince him that he ain't shit right now. Right? Because he just found his dad? Sometimes I still be looking at Paul sideways, man. I'm sorry. He a little bit dense. Right. <laughs> well. Right. He's 
It's got all kind of points. Kind of making one of them rolls from golden chicken. No. <laughs> Saved up. Right, Richard did save him in here. I forgot. I was like, I forgot all the other men. He ought to know he's lying because Geese told him he didn't have it either. <laughs> Yeah, you seem to be on to something. And I think he kind of know too, since he's dealt with that family, how things work. <clears throat> you got Rudy's feeling some type of way now, man. Well, you kind of talking shit to him. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh, but that's kind of sound like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh! Psycho crusher. That is so cute. That is. 
Let it all out, man. You know what I'm saying? My doji and Gabbana shirt gonna be all wet up, but it's all good. Oh, it's all love here, Pops. Bartender. My man, the bartender. That's beautiful. It was. Kudos to my man, Rudy, for calling that. We still don't even know what his original name was, do we? Hey, kudos to Pops for following along. <clears throat> But they got pregnant on their first try. <laughs> first hoping for such luck. Fight <laughs> one of them goblins. That's not how life works. Seriously. Man, where's Dr. Strange at, bro? Seriously. See? So she just been the confidence booster, man. She's kind of reminded me of myself, although I, I didn't act like a pain in the actual ass. But mm. just noticing my own growth. I wouldn't want to leave that place. That place looks beautiful. Yeah, it is pretty nice. Pretty nice. Just all oh, that right there. <laughs> Beat my daddy ass. feel good episode. It was, man. I like this. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's cool. Get 
is just be popping up. He do. He kind of remind me of an older version of E.C. Dodo from um, right? Dessert. Monkey face and all. Here. <laughs> Look how everybody didn't form their own teams and stuff. It's like Roxy has her team of companions, he got his team, and Paul got his kind of team of like harem team or whatever. <laughs> But guys, that was episode 17. That was a really good episode. That was a really good one. A I very heartfelt one, too. I definitely did enjoy that. Just, you know, seeing him and his dad meet and it just goes south. And then he's being the one to help turn it around. And then the bartender. Right. You know, yeah, I, is. yeah, I like that. How they were able to get a do-over. It's like, sometimes you just wish you had that so bad with your family. Like, mm -hmm. there's a moment that you have and you just can't, you know, take it back, whatever was said or done. Right. And you just wish you could just be like, you know what? Pretend like yesterday never existed and we're going to start again. Yeah, I kind of like how Rudis acknowledges the fact that in his former life he was older than Paul and actually had certain experiences similar to this one. So he's able to reflect and actually try to do better than what he did yeah, last time. Yeah, it's like a double do-over. Yeah, you know, he's like yeah. he knows that anything can happen to Paul, you know, out there in that crazy world. And he doesn't want to end things on a bad note. You know, he actually wants to accept Paul's apology and actually uplift him let him know that hey you didn't do nothing wrong you know like you might have said some <laughs> things but let's go ahead and just mm -hmm. dead that shit forget that it ever happened and let's move forward mm -hmm. and that advice you know at least look him in the face that even in just life you could just be sitting there talking to somebody and not looking at them and realizing that what you're saying and what's going on are two different things right so that was you know and that's how he was able to correlate it to his past life yeah it seems so, like a lot of um I'm sorry to cut you off what you gonna say I don't know. Just keep going. Oh, I was just going to say, I, I kind of noticed that a lot of outside forces kind of knew what to say, you know, in terms of like Rudis and Paul's situation. They kept cutting their eyes, looking at them like, oh, man, I don't think y'all should be arguing with this and doing all right. that. Right, fighting, acting a fool and blasting your dad up to the ceiling and punching him in the face. Right. I think the only person that didn't know what the fucking say was Eris because she's just be ready to fight for Rudis all of a sudden. Period. You ain't finna mess with Master Rudy. Right. The end. <laughs> so, no, I give that one an S. Yeah, I'm going to give it an S too, man. I really enjoyed that one, man. Yeah. Um, I'm eager to see where this adventure takes everybody. Like I said, I love that everybody has their own unique factions now. Like, they own a grind. Mm -hmm. You know? But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for us today. We hope you enjoyed this reaction because we had a blast reacting to this for you. Um, if we missed anything, let us know in the comment section below. Your comments are always welcome, and we appreciate y'all lacing us up with knowledge on things that we don't know at the time. So, yeah. But anyways, it's your boy RBG, a.k.a. The Random Black Gamer, here with my lovely fiance, Jenna Lee, on the ones and twos. This is Wednesday Reactions. We'll catch you guys on the next reaction, too. Musaku Tensei, Jobless Reincarnation. Peace.